we come before you this evening with grateful hearts. Thank you for saving the life of President Donald J. Trump. In his own words, it was you and you alone who saved him. We pray for the others that were injured on Saturday, for the family who lost their loved one. Put your loving arms around them. Comfort them and may they sense your presence. We stand before you tonight to say thank you for the provisions you have given to the United States of America. You have blessed this country more than any country in the world. Sadly, as a nation, we have forgotten who is responsible for all the freedoms, the liberties, and the bounty that we enjoy. It has all come for you. Thank you. This evening, our nation is in trouble. We're divided politically, racially, economically, with millions of people seeking refuge and hope in our dry and thirsty land. You're the only one who can fix the complexity of the problems that we face today. We pray for President Trump that you would give him wisdom, strength, and a clear vision for the future of this nation and the task that is at hand. Continue to protect him from his enemies. I pray that you would surround him with men and women who will give him sound counsel and guidance. We pray for Melania, for Barron, and for all of President Trump's children and grandchildren. We pray for Senator J.D. Vance, his wife Usa, along with their young family. We're thankful for his strong stand for defending life. As your word instructs, we also pray for the leaders of our nation, whether they're Republican, Democrat, or Independent. We know that all authority comes from you. You are a great God, and we ask that it be thy will that you will make America great once again. And we ask that you'll unite our hearts, bring us together, one nation under God, indivisible, with, with liberty and justice for all. And we pray this in the mighty name of, of Jesus, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Amen. Maranatha!